Welcome back guys, YouTube people, world everywhere. Got a cameraman now. Professional. Anyway, uh as you can see I painted the painted the motor. It's a uh, burnt copper. So right now I'm uh doing the valve train. So this video will be for the valve train. So Basically, you got the push rods, so I cleaned them all up, put uh, some assembly lube on the ends, on the ball, drop them down in there, and you can feel the, the tap it coming up and down. So anyway, then you have the uh, these little rockers, these little rocker towers, I guess you can call them. Then you have these injector stays, hold downs, so tapered goes down. Then it's these two bolts. Um, one thing I did do is I tightened down the injector nozzles right here, so I'm going to have to loosen these injector nozzles. And then uh, I'll have to twist the injector bolt these down and then come back through and tighten the tighten the injector nozzles so right now I'm just cleaning everything getting all the valve train ready to go cleaning all these uh, I don't know what these are called but uh, they're the little pivots pivot shafts <clears throat> so just adding some assembly lube inside there Side there on the top and then just dropping it dropping it on there like that I'm assuming this little dot means forward so I'm putting all the dots forward and then uh, just cleaning up the rocker arms this one already cleaned so I'm just throwing some assembly lube on this this is why I hired a cameraman so I can get my hands dirty. So anyway, just stick it in there, spin it, make sure it spins free. There's no restrictions, whatever you want to call it. Then I throw some lube on the ball, lube on the head. Then this is the longer one, shorter ones are exhaust, or uh, sorry, shorter ones are intake, and the longer ones are exhaust. And then uh, I'll have to take all these ones off, I'm just putting them on there. I'm going to have to take them all off to get to the bolt back here for this injector. And uh, yeah, so I'm just putting them all in, I'm going to loosen all these. Spin them all, torque all these little bolts down. These little eight millimeter, they're probably like a five millimeter, six millimeter bolt, but a ten millimeter head. Then I'll go through and torque it all down. Let you guys let me know what you guys think about the color. So it's gonna have obviously black brackets, the timing cover. Once I get the CP3 pump on, the pump's gonna be black. The cover is going to be black, the oil pan is going to be black, and uh, you know, obviously, radiator hose. This piece up here will be black. So, you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But for the meantime, I'm just going to keep cleaning these and uh, lubing them everything, lubing everything up, and then I'll go through and torque everything down. So. I'm going to clean all these right now, and uh, I'll be back once I set all these things and torque them all down.
filming or not? Yeah. Oh, you are? We'll start over. Alright guys, so got everything all lubed up, everything clean, everything good, so I'm going to go ahead and torque all these injector hold downs to 44 inch pounds, which is nothing. So I'm just going to alternate. And then uh, do all these to that, and then I gotta go to 77 inch pounds. And then uh, once you do that, that'll be it for that. And then we go to tighten all the rocker arms to 27 foot pounds. So. That's all of these ones, all the rocker arms, obviously. So, and then the nozzles, they get torqued to 37 foot pounds. So, anyway. Nice, easy. So now I'm going to go to 71 inch pounds. So 71 inch pounds. I'm just. Always tighten the front one first because it's got the pin. And basically, once you tighten that one, the back one should be already tight. It's kind of like a cantilever system in there. So, yeah, fun, right? So that's it. Just gonna go through one more time. Make sure everything's good. So, as usual. Back your torque wrench out. So let's uh, let's do the rocker arms. Have a ten millimeter somewhere. All right, so we'll do the rocker arms. R A rocker arms. Twenty seven foot pounds. So we can put these. Back on, just make sure they're in the push rods. Pretty fun, exciting, huh? Cameraman's excited. You can tell. So I'm just gonna hand tighten all these so I don't have to do much ratcheting. Get an arm pump. Don't 
So yeah. Eventually, I'm going to have to sell this motor. Eventually, somebody will buy it. Hopefully, somebody won't mind the color I chose. And they'll go from there. So, I'm going to go 27 foot-pounds. Which, I think this is 24 foot-pounds. Some of these valves are going to open because of the cam. The cam's installed. So I like that one. Took a little bit of effort. This one's going to take a little bit of effort. Because it's opening the valves. And I'll probably just back all the valves off. I should have done that already. Back all these off, but I didn't. on that. Okay, that's that. Now we torque down the nozzles to, it says 11 and then 37, but they were already torqued down. So we'll just go straight to 37. A, uh, they're 24 millimeter on those things. So, no big deal. I want to use a thin wall socket on this because it's getting stuck wedging itself. That's five. And that's six. Okay. And back your torque wrench off. It says stop. Turn it off. And uh, some less parts now. Got an empty box. I can go in the box. And then, uh, yeah, so uh, tomorrow, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll paint some stuff black. Uh, got to go in the barn. I got to put all my missions crap out in the, in the 
4th gen so I can go to Colorado and uh, go from there. So, alright guys, let me know what you guys think about the color again. And uh, if you guys got any questions, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back all these off. I'll turn the motor to where it needs to be. I'll adjust the valves. That'll be the next episode or next video. We'll be adjusting all the valve lash um, and uh, going from there. So, and then after that, I got the injector wiring to put on. I got to change the gasket, the seal that's on the bottom of this. And uh, yeah, go from there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment below, let me know what you guys think. And uh, that's it. Alright, later.